Today in history. It is May 1st, and our journey to the past will continue today. That's right. We have a couple of events to share with our listeners, too,、uh, to be specific.、Uh, first, though, here is our quiz question New York is known for many landmarks. One of them is the iconic, number one, Opera House, or number two, Empire State Building. The question again New York is known for many landmarks. One of them is the iconic, Number one, Opera House, or number two, Empire State Building. If you know the answer right now, please put it on our Bondi board or you can text it in, pounder sharp 1045 for 51 to win an eco bag and mug cup.、Mm, among all of those great、uh, things that have happened on this day in history, we're going to focus on two main items, and here's the list. Today in history, in 1886, Rallies were held across the United States, leading to the creation of the International Workers' Day. And in 1931, the Empire State Building was dedicated. Today's journey begins、uh, in the past with a milestone moment in history that paved the way for the working conditions and rights of millions. For workers around the world. Of course, we are talking about Labor Day, which is commemorated today not only here in Korea, but in many other countries as well, with some countries designating it as a public holiday. It was back in 1886 that event put this holiday in motion.、Uh -huh. It all began with riots that took place all across the United States by workers who demanded. Eight hour work days. Interesting, right?、Mm. I didn't know it started with、uh, riots. Well, these riots led to the Haymarket Affair on May 4th, which in turn became the driving force for commemorations in subsequent years, thus setting the backdrop for the International Workers' Day to be established.、Mm. In Korea, Labor Day was commemorated on a different day, not until not long ago. As a matter of fact, in 19. 73, April 17th、mm. was declared as a day to commemorate workers, and it wasn't until 1994 that May 1st was designated as Labor Day. Oh, wow, not until、mm. 1994, so not too long ago、right. at all.、Uh, yeah, it's important, I think, to have a day to celebrate workers and employees of companies,、right. just like we have Parents' Day and Children's Day.、Ah, so, for those who are enjoying your day off today, Good for you. Yeah, I wonder what everybody's doing today.、Mm, I, I think so deserved. I think the weather is cooperating, so maybe、mm -hmm. some people are out、uh, outside enjoying their morning.、Yeah. Take advantage. Absolutely, as you should. Okay, now let's move on to our second event today. And this is interesting as well. This took place way back in New York on this day in 1931. And that event was the opening of the Empire State's Building, one of the most iconic and recognizable skyscrapers in. The world. Standing at, there it is there on Boynton Radio,、uh, 443 meters tall, the Empire State Building was the tallest building in the world for nearly 40 years, and interestingly, it was designed from the top down. How is it possible, though? Well, I guess when they were drawing the blueprints for it, they started at the top.、Mm. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, okay. It was designed、mm. from the top down. Okay. Well, the building is practically the face of New York, probably second to only the Statue of Liberty,、mm -hmm. as it has appeared、um, numerous times in movies, TV, books, and other forms of media. Yeah, and perhaps the most famous stellar role, so to speak, was in the King Kong movies. There you go.、Mm. See,、uh, we are showing the scene from that movie、uh, on the Puyin and Radio. Right. So enjoy it. And even a part of the building is famous in its own, as it is the case with the observatories of the building. One of the most famous in the world with over 110 million visitors to date. In fact, the observation deck was the backdrop to many famous movies as well, such as Sleepless in Seattle, one of、yeah. my favorite movies. That's right. That's the very last scene of the movie, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Well, I saw that when I was young. 
Uh -huh. So I didn't really pay attention to where they were oh, at the time. Right. Yeah. It's anyway, mm. uh, the Empire State Building was uh, designated as a national historic landmark uh, not too long ago as well. And it was considered as one of the seven wonders of the world, which also includes the CN Tower in Toronto and the Channel Tunnel, oh. I believe, connecting uh, England and Paris. Ah, 그렇군요. Mm, pretty cool, right? Uh, there was another story. Paul and I were chatting before the show today, and apparently Paul... Paul was telling me that the Chrysler building and the Empire State building were in a bit of a competition mm. with each other as to see which could be the tallest. Uh -huh. And the Chrysler building in New York completed its construction first. And so it looked like they were going to be the winner. Mm. But the cherry on top, as Paul put it, was mm. the needle on top of the Empire State building. And that's what made it win Come as the on. tallest building in New York. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They, they kind of look similar. They do kind of look other. similar, don't they? Mm, the, so the one on the right, I think, that's the Chrysler Tower, yes. I'm sure. Yeah. The, did you ever, I mean, visit uh, the, the Empire State Building? Well, I was only in New York City um, for about a half an hour downtown, uh. to be honest with you. One of my uh, bucket list items is to go to Yankee Stadium for a playoff. Game, oh, I uh, see. As they're my favorite team. Um, but I haven't had a chance to visit the buildings to answer your question. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. The left one, the one that they look so similar to each other, uh, of this photos that we're showing on the Pogino mm. Radio, the one on the left was the, the Empire Chrysler State, Building. The Chrysler Building. Yeah. There you go. Make, uh, please make no mistake about mm, it. On All the right, right mm? the Empire State Building. Have you been? Oh, uh, yes, once, long time ago. Is it scary at the top? Not necessarily, no. but all I remember was the little scribble of Korean names. You know, so people, they, they just wanted to uh, leave a mark uh, of really? some sort uh, <laughs> right next to the elevator. Oh. So I was about this close to uh, making my mark, mm. but I decided not to. Probably best uh, not to, 네. right? 그렇죠. Yeah. 우리가 또 이렇게 낙서해 놓고 나 여기 왔다 갔다 뭐 이런 분들도 있고 <웃음> 네, 그랬어요. Mm. 자, okay. So what's the answer to your quiz question? I wonder. Well, the question was: New York is known for many landmarks. One of them is the iconic number two Empire State Building. All right, that's it for today in history, and we'll be back in just a moment. Uh, Daniel is away for health reasons, and Jason is filling in in today's cine premieres. Here's Jay Z and Alicia Keys' Empire State of Mind.